Hello, welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. That's right, we're back with another boop box of Ultimate Masters. Ooh, that box was hard to open. Clearly, this has been resealed. Hmm, weird. Well, hopefully, you guys are having fun with the Ultimate Master season as you approach Christmas. Um, you know, makes a lot of sense to have a big money drop like this. I get it. Um, hopefully, you're having fun with it, getting some really good cards, some nice hits. I know we have been hitting some insane stuff and sharing that with you, so hopefully you enjoyed that. And, uh, you know, the one thing we never talk about is just how expensive some of this stuff is to do. It's, it's pricey, but I'll have you all know that um, I won't get to buy any other Christmas presents, and, and I'm okay with that. And uh, I don't deserve a present because, you know, I got presents like box toppers to open. Put that off to the side. We're gonna, look at that, he's sitting right in the corner of the camera. And we're gonna just uh, get to cracking, see if we can get a quick tutorial again, shake the pack, make sure all the cards are on the bottom, a little bit of pressure. Ooh, look at that, opens real easy then. Real simple, oh, look at how simple that opens, yep. Ooh. All right, let's see how we start this one off with a homunculus, a foil, Dakmore Salvage. It's a pretty foil. And our first rare is the Golgari Grave Troll. I love the artwork on this one. It looks really cool. Really good card. Hopefully someday they unban it. Maybe he's still too cheap. I don't know. Shriek Maw. Let's see if we got anything else that's amazing. Nothing else. But pretty good. Good start. Fun to start with the Golgari Grave Troll. Look at how easy that pack was to open. Nice print run of cards using that Japanese printing company. Got a Lotus Eye Mystics for our foil. And our next rare is Disrupting Shoal. It's a cool card. It's a fun card. Nice easy way to counter a spell. And, ooh, an Eternal Witness. Put this guy off to the side. It's a nice high value uncommon. Put him, put him right over here. Mystic Retrieval, Conflagrate. Let's see. All right. Hopefully nobody's panicking too much about the, the pricing of this. It's definitely the individual cards have gone down. That's the point of reprinting them, making them more affordable. Don't worry. Don't panic, sell. Don't release your whole collection. Things will eventually rebound. The only thing that's really going to make these cards long term go down in price is if they ban it for modern or whatever format it's played in. Ghoul's co Ghoul Caller's Accomplice and a Nourishing Shoal. I haven't opened any of the shoals in the other ones, so now we got a couple of them. Appetite for Brains. Look at that guy. He's just wow. Look at that eyeball. Let's get him into focus. Yeah, that was, that was creepy enough. Hey, Chainer's Addict. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you get to do a draft yet? Ultimate Masters draft? Tell me about it. Curious with what you went with. What did you build? Did you win or were you just terrible? If you're terrible, I don't care. Don't tell me. If you won, how'd you win? Ooh, fun foil. Fiery temper. Yeah, that's a cool one. You know, look at this. I'm putting all my foils off over. I'm sorry, guys. There's the foils. Oh, and a Fulminator Mage. What a garbage card. Not really. That's a great card. There we go. Now I'm in, now I'm organized. I'm sorry. How disrespectful. Anything else? Big out of the Grimog Hingler foil. Some nice uh, commons in that pack. All right. Still no Mythic yet. Love to see a Karn, maybe a Tarmogoyf, Blast of Genius, why not? Look at Raul, intense man. All is dust, really good removal spell. Ooh, Lava Spike, there's a good uncommon. Meringue, Reckless Worm. This is, if I'm drafting, Mongrel, Reckless Worm. That's the game I'm playing, man, Madness. It's been too long since I've gotten to draft and have madness be the strategy. It's one of my favorite mechanics of magic. 
Not one of mine. It is my most favorite. Madness is easily my most favorite ability. Just the wind with that sweet ability. And our first Mummy, mythic is a real a good one. Meatball. Real nice one. Sorry, I'm messing up the piles real bad today. Bitter Blossom. Great card. Time to make that fairy tribal deck. Misfail Plains. Golgari Thug. Nice uncommon. Anger. That's a good one. All right. Last box I opened had four mythics in it. I'm hoping we can uh, get nice and lucky and have another four mythic box. Or technically five, I suppose. We had a we had a nice uh, nice little box topper. If you didn't see that video, make sure you click down there when I put it up there and check that one out. Got Prey upon foils, some cool werewolf artwork, and another mythic, Balefire Dragon. This one was high. It's been reprinted. Obviously, the price is down. Again, people are panicking. Don't panic. I promise. It'll find his way home. He'll go back up a little bit. As long as he still sees some play, he'll be a card that sits around the block. The Citizen. Repel the Darkness. Foil. And Squee! Goblin to Bob. Oops, look at me. There I go, messing up the, the piles. I hate as we always approach the end of these, I get the same kind of anxiety about this guy up here. <laughs> like I just don't, we don't want that dud. Think twice, foil. The eyes light up a little bit. A nice rare through the breach. Definitely one of the ones I can't get enough of right now. Would love a bunch of those. Circular logic, good card. Oh, there he is, the wild mongrel. I'm gonna showcase him in all these videos. One of my favorite cards. Reminds me of when I first really started getting into magic, which I guess technically was the invasion block, but the one I ever started to be competitive with was uh, Odyssey block. So. Yep, it's a long time ago. Fairy Rogue. Our first foil rare. Got a Seismic Assault. Where's I'll put that with the rares. And then we got an Ancient Tomb. Another one I can't get enough of. It's just such a good card for Commander. It's a weird one to see. Reprint Garna. It's a good card, though. I suppose it works with a lot of what you're trying to do here. Certain sack abilities and... Stuff I could I could see that being a card that needed to be a part of it for drafting. Not always just about the value. Whoa! Spicy <laughs> that caught me off guard. Wow! A foil Caracas. Ooh, nice. I, I'm not gonna lie. I was feeling a little bit sad. I'm like, man, where are all the giant hits? Well, here it is. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, what a good pack. A double mythic pack. And then we got a foil Krakus followed by the the beautiful Platinum Empyreon. Your life total can't change. Oh my God. That was good. Whew. All right, guys. Well, we're at four mythics. Um, I don't want it to stop. Would love to see some more as we get through the halfway point here few more mythics why not give me just a whole box of mythics we got a fume spitter it's kind of a cool looking foil card and celestial colonnade nice the best man land that's right it's a man land if you didn't know that it's a good one songs of the damned is a great card let me put that off to the side there's that Gurmog angler well, this box is definitely shaping up, and we got a lot left. Let's see if we can't get some of the other big name rares that are in this one. Maybe in a witness of some sort. Devoted Druid foil, that's a nice one. Good foil in common. And a gamble, there's a good one. It's one of the good rares. It's one of those Ixalan goblins. Look at that guy. Breaches. Kudama's Reach. Keep 
that out there. Sorry, I'm sorting out the cards that I know I will likely need for a deck or two. And rather than putting it in the giant piles that you can't see off camera, try to keep it separate so I can keep things organized post video. Foil Spider Umbra. Nice card. And Rage and Ravine, the other good man land. All right, I'm good to see no more man lands. These are the two I want. Rage and Ravine and Celestial Colonnade. Oh, Vengeful Rebirth with the Seb McKinnon artwork. Just amazing. The guy is a really talented artist. Whew, look at these guys. These guys are best friends. Best friends right there. Urborg, you tomb of Yagmoth. Another good card with some sweet new artwork. Just appreciate that artwork. And we got a buried alive and a sleight of hand. Two really good uncommons. That was a great pack. Fire and ice. It used to be one of my favorites. And what else could we get in here? We've gotten a lot of good stuff so far. Get a zombie. We got the Twins of Mauer Estate and Lenalundra. Why not? Another good rare. Getting back to that Fairy Tribal. Laboratory Maniac. There's one that was rare, downshifted. Had somebody actually play this off and win with it in a draft. That was soul crushing. <laughs> Oh, the Merit Lodge, Lage, Liege. A mad Prophet, Foil. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm sorry. And another Seismic Assault, because we like to do land decks. Reckless Worm, not a good Madness card. Madness all around us. Faithless Looting, Gurmog Angler, Ulamog's Crusher. It's a good pack for commons. If you're a real big popper fan, you probably like what was in there. Zombie. Faith's fetters. Nice! Oh, there we go. That's the right I want to see. Meatball. Noble Hierarch. Yay! Yay! Alright. Murderous Redcap. Ghoul Steed. Sigil of the New Dawn. Anything else big in there? Nope. Nice. Alright, well... I think we've done pretty well, you guys. We still have six or so packs left, and we have hit some big name cards plus a foil mythic. Nobody's sad about the amazingness that we got here. Well, unless you're not a part of it. Hey, a good foil, faithless looting. And Revel Arc. Solid card. Heat Doll, Brawn, Living Lore, another one that was honestly a really good rare that they downshifted. Surprise that thing gets to see itself as an uncommon. Come on, show us that Karn. I'd love to see a Karn. Maybe a Demonic Tutor. Still some good cards we haven't seen yet. Rally the Peasants. And Daybreak Coronet. There's one of the good ones. I forgot this one was reprinted in here. Boggles. Ooh, getting down to the last packs, which means we're going to have to go to that box topper soon. Soldier. Tethmos High Priest Foil. Maelstrom Pulse. Nice. Love a good removal spell. Shriekmon. Not too bad. Three more packs. Of glory and ultimate mastering. Homunculus. Ooh, cool foil. Again, was a rare downshifted to uncommon. Got Angel of Despair. I don't know if you guys remember this. I think it was Apocalypse, maybe? I don't know. Older card. I definitely remember it when I was playing. 
And Sublime Archangel, the one that was taken from Mythic and downshifted to Rare. And I don't... I still think this thing has Mythic power, which is a little crazy. A little bit crazy. Hyena Umbra. Kodama's Reach, putting that off to the side. Not because it's super expensive. I think it's still a buck or so, but more of that. I need it in a few decks for Commander. All right. Spider. Got a Generator Servant, and their rare is Sovereigns of Lost Alara. Good for those enchantment decks, right? Yep, or cards. Yep, yep, yep. The last pack of the box, and then we're on to the ultimate box topper. Let's finish on a high note. Zombie, Snake Umbra, and Woodfall Primus. Not a bad way to end. This thing's kind of plummeted in price, but it'll find its way back up. And a Kitchen Finks, just as good as most of the rares. And a Young Pyromancer. Oh my. It was a nice pack. This is a good way to end it with the normal packs. But now, what you've all been waiting for. So we got a four mythic box. We can't be sad, especially since one of those is a foil mythic. Let's see what this let's see what this guy's all about. Oh boy. Oh boy. And Culminating. Oh, yeah, All right. spicy, it is not a dud. Thank God. You're always worried about that lava claw reaches, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. That uh that black red teased me a little bit here. We got the fulminator mage. Alright. So not a bad little box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that again. Hopefully you're having tons of fun opening your own boxes or packs or however you're enjoying this set, hopefully with drafting, because that's what probably makes the most sense. But at any rate, you're enjoying a little bit of it with us, so we thank you for that. And if you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's a few different ways you can do that. One is completely free. Hit the thumbs up, become a subscriber. Those things really help us get our name and our brand out there. The other way, if you like some of these... Uh, these game mats, you see, we'll, we'll move the camera a little bit here. Yeah, these game mats, they got the nice stitched edgings. We got our play spots, you know, just customizing your own product. Feel free to do that. Go to Ink Gaming. There's going to be a link in the description. It helps support our channel, and you can type in the coupon code BOOSTER10, and that's going to get you 10% off your order. And the last way is to become a patron. We have our Patreon link also in the description. Feel free to jump in there. We also open some stuff for you if you are one of our patrons. We have a little bit of fun adding you as a part of the videos, getting you a little bit more involved with us. And that is exactly what we want to do is just get our community to be a part of all this. So thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in again to another Ultimate Masters box opening. We got a few more coming, so stay tuned for more. And you have a wonderful rest of your day.